The PASS program, I think, is probably one of the most important programs the Arts Council has. Uh, and a lot of people are not aware that it's an Arts Council program, but it's been going on since 1970. We're here in the Kirkland Fine Arts Center, and that's when, when this building was built, that's when the PASS program started. It's a great partnership between the Arts Council and Millican University Kirkland Fine Arts Center. This is something I went to when I was a kid, um, and I remember it very vividly. I don't know... Um, if I remember exactly the show or anything like that, but like coming to something, seeing performing arts, um, seeing people that, that do this for a living and just the, the arts that have carried on in their life um, can maybe plant a seed in someone, a young student, and can take them someplace else in their life. I think the PASS program is one of the most significant programs for the Arts Council because the children who attend events here have the opportunity to see a professional performing group in a world-class facility on a college campus. Three opportunities that they may not get again for a long time and for some kids ever. So it's a great experience for them uh, to have as small children. It has been going on. They have multiple um, performances of different plays throughout the school year. This is the last one of the school year and it has 1,200 kids alone. So throughout the other um, performances, I think they say they have over 6,000, almost 7,000 kids that are served through this program. Um, and, and the Arts Council gets grants and other funds to help send kids to the program to support the bus costs, to support scholarships so that they don't pay to come to this. Uh, today's show is My Mouth is a Volcano based on a, a children's book and I believe it is K through second grade. And uh, initially the programs were all uh, Millican music programs, bands and orchestras for the first five or six years and then uh, past well, it wasn't past then, it was youth concerts. And then they started adding drama and dance and science and history uh, to the performances. And so they changed the name to the Performing Arts Series for Students. And so uh, that's when it became passed in about 1975. And ever since then, thousands and thousands and thousands of kids from all over central Illinois have come to see shows here.